And here we are, everybody, with our first game for today after getting a little bit of a forfeit bye. We have UTD against St. Clair College. It's going to be University of Texas at Dallas. What are you thinking of this game so far? Well, I'm thinking that it's about time. We've been waiting for another fantastic Rocket League to get us started here. We see our boys in orange today on the orange side of the field, Christian Vesh and Ben, but they're getting that first shot on the board. University of Texas at Dallas is going to get their first goal against the Saints here and done in quite a remarkable fashion. It was a pass gone wrong, but gone right for UTD. All right for UTD, St. Clair, like I was saying before, needs to find that full world, needs to find that momentum going forward. They got themselves back in this game, but they're starting it off on the back foot here. They're going to have to try and make sure UTD does not keep getting these free goals. I mean, look at that, 2-0, and oh, starting things off 30 seconds in. It's not looking great for Saints. You know, to be fair, like we were saying, start of the stream, Saints slow start. They didn't even get to play their first game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Oklahoma Christian Esports, they forfeited their first match, so we're coming in technically off of a bye, if you want to look at it that way. So the Saints, they're really cold right now, and to make it even harder, this is a team that won their last series, and they won in a 3-0 fashion, so they have a lot of momentum uh, kind of pushing them forward. The Saints are going to have to at least take this first game, hopefully a little bit quicker, to get up to speed and kind of it's like go merging onto the highway. You have to get up to speed before you take that turn, and the Saints are definitely hitting the gas pedal right now, but the engine is not the best in their vehicle. Exactly. A little bit of low acceleration, but you know the Saints have a high top speed. They got a nice shot on the goal, but a nice clear comes out from Luby and a nice save. Now Christian going to not let up on the gas bash. Going to try and get something of a setup there, but it's back in the corner on the blue side. Luby going to be the one to clear. It's heading towards the Saints' goal. Not quite on a goal gonna set something up once again they just can't get a clear shot but at this point they just need to keep the aggression up make sure the saints don't get anywhere close Ooh. equalizing the score and then look at a bicycle doing an amazing job clearing the goal it's right in front of the goal but they managed to still clear it and now we see Spoots here rocking the, uh, he's following the esports trend of changing your in-game name to just be your first. Uh, ben here riding that wall, actually gonna act as like a little bit of a barrier, bouncing it backwards towards uh, the blue side, also keeping it in possession as well. Kind of just running straight towards the net, holding the ball in terms of soccer. It'd be like kicking it up to your hands, just sprinting towards it. Only way someone's gonna prevent you from doing it is if they tackled you, and that's exactly what happened here. He's going for another shot, Keeping it up in the air. Christian's going to get the rebound. Passing it back over to Ben. In fact, going to go for the pincher shot. But we're going to see a bicycle to catch it out of the air. Vesh going for another. It's a relentless assault coming up from the Saints. It's like piranhas in the water in a cartoon. There's nothing but bones left behind after this swimming frenzy. But destruction in the wake there. Luby tries to take a shot, but gets it saved. Christian taking another shot as well. The Saints getting some nice shots with the defense. And UTD is just too strong. They need to find some to find something quick. We're over halfway through this match now, and they need to find a foothold here. UTD just holding this two-point lead very, very oh. strongly. There's a time, there's an opening, and there's a goal by Ben from up top. Guess who's on the highway right now, ladies and gentlemen. I can already see Ben cruising up there, one hand on the steering wheel. That's how comfortable the Saints are right now in this game. I think they've caught right up. And while they still have two minutes left on the clock to get at least one more goal, I feel like now, at the very least, they're playing. I can definitely see the engine is starting to rev up here, but UTD wants to secure their two-point lead once again. They're going all on the offense, but that might cost them as the Saints find an opening. Why Skull going to stop that right in its tracks, so, but it's still heading towards that goal. Christian doesn't get the setup he needs, but Vesh might be able to give the one setup to Ben, but it's not quite enough. Vesh finding it up in the air. Cleared away from orange side that's threatening their goal. Christian finds the clear, doesn't go very far, it's just barely in the blue. Ooh. 50 goes out on either side there. A little bit of a clash. Now we see Ruby just try to carry it out of this blue side. Well, the Saints are just being unrelenting on the offense. They need a goal and they need a goal quick. Doesn't matter if they're more points behind. They just need to try and get this equaliz equalization in order. Unstoppable force meets an immovable object, and the Saints are pushing really hard right now. One minute on the clock, and 
and it's only getting a little scarier, that shot coming towards Orange Side. Ben with a nice swipe away. Gonna get stolen eventually, but Christian trying to take this one off the wall. Christian's now taking possession towards the other side. It's gonna get stolen. Ben taking it out of the corner, potentially. No, a shot's gonna be made, and Luby stealing that clear attempt from the Saints and turning it into a goal. The Saints have just been on a complete aggression streak right now, and once the, foot, the shoe is finally on the other foot, it felt like they weren't able to match the offense coming out of UTD. And it uh, looks like this first game most likely going to go their way, but at the very least, the Saints are looking a little bit more comfortable in this series. They're definitely looking more comfortable getting that warm-up in here, but this one is most definitely going to go the way of UTD unless we see some absolutely insane plays from the Saints. Luby already gearing up another goal, though. It's not looking likely. 30 seconds left on the clock. Besh going to make one last match for the goal. Try and bob and weave, break some ankle, ankles or axles here rather but it's not gonna quite work back in the corner Luby not letting up on the gas here it's up in the arrow Y school getting a crazy shot off the top gets a nice setup Kura going back and forth they're weaving between the lines of the Saints it's not gonna be enough as time is ticking there's five seconds left in the match the Saints go for one last mad dash but it's not gonna be enough this ball will be touching the ground soon enough there it is an excellent game and I feel like UTD they had a really good job of kind of holding that together for it, especially the start the Saints started to kind of seal things away from underneath them we saw like I said it made my little piranha joke it was a bit of a feeding frenzy they were just going crazy taking shots constantly 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 but the one constant there was that UTD was defending everything and that takes a lot out of any player of any skill level to defend off of shots from anybody let alone the Saints that they're doing it so well and so coordinated but they were able to ascend it now going into this next game I feel like both teams have really got a taste for what these the series is gonna look like I'm eager to see how they're gonna try to adjust if anything to really make this a lot more comfortable exactly I think the Saints are all about the reaction here and now they can finally try that it's all up to UCD to keep their plays dynamic and keep the surprises coming for the Saints here. Now St. Clair going on a mad dash, playing with a little bit more aggression than we've seen. Sending one up, sending Ben here to try and set some up. Ooh, almost a great shot by Christian, but it's not gonna be enough. This is just such an even match, but it's all up to the Saints to stop UTD from getting that goal lead. Ben, gonna stop that one uh, from going a little bit more favorably. It wasn't gonna go in the net, but at least it's not gonna bounce off in a perfect area to go for a shot. Landing right on Christian's hood there, completely stopping out that momentum. Well placed by him. Ben, sealing that one out of the air. Abesh taking the shot! An excellent wow. play from the Saints. You couldn't ask for something better. That was a sniper shot, a rocket, a slingshot, whatever fast moving object you wanna call it. Luby, if, if just, that shot was a little slower. He literally would have cleaned that up, but the speed that was allowed to come out of that shot from that setup from his teammate, very well done by both of those players. Very, very well done shot indeed. I don't know how he managed to find that out of nowhere. It's just the absolute immaculate teamwork from the Saints mm -hmm. getting that set up. Now we're seeing UTD play a little bit more aggressive. They don't want to have the same thing that happened to the Saints happen to them want to stop this in his track right now but the Saints find an amazing goal oh. from out of left field that's going to be Vesh finding it from downtown I mean look at that taking it over everybody's heads here Kura not ready for it and now the Saints are two points ahead I gotta say with I sometimes it feels like we're just yammering on and on and on about nonsense we don't know about but it feels great to see the Saints prove us right for once <laughs> we say they're slow starters which sounds like cope sounds like oh these guys are bad oh slow starters sure but ladies and gentlemen you're seeing it right here right now these guys are slow starters and when they really find their stride they hit it and they go fast and these guys are taking this 2-0 lead I believe even faster than UTD, UTD did in the last one but of course I did a lot of praise right there it's still the best of five series the Saints have a lot of room to lose and they're seeing a, a lot of demos exchanged so they just have to make sure they maintain this lead maintain this momentum and don't slip up 
not slip up here. You just have to play a good defensive game, but it looks like the best defense is a good offense as Chris Christian takes another amazing shot on the goal. A bicycle trying to find something here, trying to turn the tides for his team. With Ben not getting the clear, that could be it, but Christian's going to find the clear instead. Luby, that could let up off the gas, find one the air. Vesh going to clear it out in the corner. A bicycle trying to find anything here with his team. There's a big three commit on the side of the Saints, but it's going to flip right back over. Luby being the stalwart defender. Oh my not going to be defending well oh enough, though. God. And Vesh once again gets three in a row on them. Just they're not looking. No one's guard. No one's a point guard on Vesh. He's just getting these free shots. I mean, look at that. Unbelievable. It's a hat trick, but they don't wear hats. It's more like a sunroof trick. Uh, you know, uh, pop it upwards and let the, let the air flow <laughs> in as we really just take in this immaculate gameplay coming up from the Saints after recovering from a pretty a pretty brutal game one here. And like I said, it seems like they found exactly how they want to play. And I don't even, uh, a demo, how? How did that even happen? Incredible play from Vesh and uh, Kekura now trying to beat out Christian. Christian's going to steal it out, but Luby's going to bump him off to make so he's not going to be able to steal the possession right away. He's still going to end up with it, however, creating the ball in his wheels, trying to pass it in such a way that it makes a nice, easy shot for his teammates, but they're not going to allow that to happen. They're going to interfere. Once again, Christian being a problem for UTD, stealing that pass right out from under him. Kekura now trying to beat Christian once again, but Ben is there to make it a nice, clean delivery, basically. Passing it up towards himself over a bicycle. Luby's there waiting on the ground beneath. And they're going to go for a shot in return. Christian, however, blocking that one out. Vesh passing that forward towards the corner. Unfortunately, he's riding the wall now. Now we're going to have to wait and see if UTD can keep this pressure going and turn this into something beautiful. But it seems that the Saints are actually turning this one around a little bit faster, a little bit harder. Luby, thankfully, there in the meantime, uh, they're in time, unlike the last few shots. But Seems that UTD, once again, trying to find their way back in this series. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be UTD trying to find something here. Vesh going to get the clear. Once again, it's just back and forth across the board here. Looks like Ben trying to find something, but they don't even need any more goals. They just really need to run out the clock, but that's a good shot by UTD, but it's not going to be good enough. And now as we go back to Ben, it's back and forth here. Why school keeping up the pressure, but they cannot keep doing this three commit. I know they're desperate for points, but I mean, oh. the Saints keep finding these openings and keep abusing this opening so well. The aggression seems to be the best defense for them. Yeah, and it, it's definitely working out. And unlike uh, what we've seen from UTD so far, even though they're playing really aggressively, the Saints always at least have one person in a position to make any saves that need to be made. Even right now, or you see how aggressively the Saints are playing right now, but when they recognize it's time to go back, collect their boost and get ready for uh, any clears or any shot attempts, they're there already. And uh, Vesh is going to get demoed. They recognize that uh, he's a real big threat on this field, and they're going to do whatever they can to get him off of it. A nice sensor attempt coming out. Luby going for the pass over to Kekura, a bicycle underneath, ready to turn this into a follow-up, but Saints are going to steal that one out. Ben going for a nice shot, but unfortunately the angle is going to get skewed by the blue car. Now, with this game wrapping up, the Saints, once again, proving us right. Feels great to uh, properly justify our losses. I love exactly. it. I think they're just a very uh, cerebral team. They need to download their enemy's information. They need to go up against them, get the read on the situation, and find what works best for them. You know, they're very um, prescriptive with their approach, you know. They find, they identify the issue, and they know how to solve it. Absolutely. I think uh, at, at this point, after that first and second game, I think the Saints could probably write a thesis on uh, this team's play style just based off <laughs> exactly. of how well they were playing around it. But of course, not to say anything less of UTD, a fantastic team of their own right, obviously taking game one in a very impressive fashion. That's the only reason we're so surprised to see the Saints doing so well in this game, too. It's because UTD had that first game on lock. Exactly. And now going to this game three, we're going to have to wait and see if maybe UTD is turn to turn things around and figure out the Saints. We'll have to see indeed, you know. No, keeping things fresh, I think, is always a good play against the Saints, but you don't want to do something you're not comfortable with. It's always a tough decision, but it looks like it's not going to be a tough decision for the Saints of what to do. They knew that the three aggression is the thing that they need to use, the poison that will poison the well over at Texas here. It looks like Christian has found an opening here, going for a big air carry. Ben tries to go for the slam, but can't quite find it. One important detail about that last game was, sure, the Saints were able to get their three goals, but the rest of the match, they didn't get any. 
and right now we're kind of seeing the uh, the effects of that. Neither team able to find any goals despite um, the strong offense coming up with both of them. I really feel like the defense from both of these teams have really tightened up to a point where even a single goal per round is just going to be really uh, unexpected, really difficult to see, but not so as Owicycle finding a sneaky shot, found a gap in the Saints defense and exploited it as best as possible. You see the Saints were just not ready for it. Ben was contesting, Vesh was in front trying to stop it, and unfortunately Spoods was just looking for boosts. Beautiful casters, Kirsten Neal. Uh, love to see it, but that's hey. what UTD needs to keep themselves in this game. <laughs> They're gonna lock in, but it looks like the Saints going all out on the Woo! offense, and Vesh just instantly answers, getting this back to one to one. I'm not gonna make any casters curse comments because I feel like at this point is anybody's game, and uh, you know what? I would like the Saints to win, so I'm just gonna not jinx it at all. But immediately, both teams proving me wrong. So I thought it might be a bit of a slower game coming out. You know, we get something right for once, and now they're just <laughs> going all out to make sure we look like fools. But he, you know what? I'll take it because it makes for a much more exciting match. We're all fools here, but you know who's not the fool? Luby. He's gonna go out on a big blitz here with the rest of his team. Why school gonna get a set up here, but Ben's gonna get the beautiful clear off the wall. Vesh going for the touch off the ceiling, though. It's wide open Ooh. for UTD, but nice. Ben on the defense manages to clear it out. Yeah, that was a really good play, just chasing the aggression. <laughs> Unfortunately, even when you're playing defense, being aggressive with your defense is awesome. Vesh! An opening! Oh, he couldn't get the touch. Just a little bit of extra momentum would have given them that goal, but even a shot like that is a good morale damage. But I feel like for this UTD team, this might have been the wake-up call they needed. They were just such a micro play away from being down a goal and I think that might just kind of shake them up into a much tighter defense. This is a very close game here. You can see these uh, shots are just barely gracing the goals, just barely not getting in by the grace of God here. Now Christian <laughs> going for a goal, can't quite find it though. The defense on both sides is just so strong. Uh oh. Okay, Vesh has this one. Oh, no, oh, not going to touch it necessarily, but he's at least ready to take possession. Now, he has to beat this 50. Not going to go his way. Luby is going to bounce that one over. Christian's ready on the back line. It's just a triple layer defense passing back and forth. Going to collide in the air. Almost like they both really wanted to go for that one. Vesh going to demo out Keikura. Ben now trying to circle himself into a more favorable position, waiting for Christian to make the play, make the call. Where are we going to go, Captain? On the ground it is. Luby is going to pop that one back up, however, chasing it to the ground once again. Keikura taking a shot. Vesh ready to go. The Saints won't make the same mistake they made earlier on in this game. Once again, Christian catching that one in the air, hashing it back up to the corner. Vesh ready, getting in position for the shot. Doesn't even wow. need it. Christian going for the shot. No no one's going to be able to defend that one, and that's going to be another one on the board for the Saints. I think they just barely didn't get that save there. I need to see that one back. Um, oh, that's Vesh in the goal there. I thought that was one of their teammates, no. but no, he's just there as the insurance policy. But beautiful goal from the Saints. Two minutes left on the clock, and UTD needs to get one here if they want to bring it to overtime. Looks like the Saints want to secure their victory here, starting out with even more aggression. Yeah, I feel like maybe what Vesh was doing in the net there was getting ready to bounce anyone out who was uh, playing defense, but again, not even necessary. Now the Saints looking to maintain this lead, and the best way to maintain that lead is by making it even wider, and they're not stopping their offensive plays at all. A bicycle catching that catch from Christian, and uh, Vesh taking another pass up to the center, then waiting for that clear attempt. He's going to play nice and slow. It's going to go over him, however. Christian's going to catch the follow-up. Lube is going to demo, demo him in response and a bicycle getting ready not ready enough for Vesh gonna steal that ball away taking it right back to the center of blue side gonna miss that uh, slight side attempt Ben and Christian waiting for the defense Ben's gonna meet that in the air stop the momentum a bicycle failing to catch that one as well a minute on the clock the Saints are now just looking to establish their dominance on this field and prevent another goal coming up from UTD Ooh, that would have been a huge play if the Saints were able to make that one work but unfortunately Luby's gonna uh, demo on Vesh by Christian Besh looking for an opening. There's a minute left on the clock. The Saints can either run out the clock or they can really try for this insurance goal, and that's what they're doing right here. I mean, look at Besh go for a beautiful shot. Doesn't get quite get it, though. The clear comes through. Now he, it's hovering in the middle. No one's going to control the ball, really trying to get control. It's going to be Ben. Going to set up for his team, Luby, getting the clear. It's kind 
kind of just passing back and forth at this point. UTD needs to gain control of the ball or else the Saints are going to get a massive goal here. They're playing the defense well, but they need a goal and they need it quick. The Saints just taking shot after shot after shot. It's just free at this point. They're just stalling out the clock with aggression. They're not even at their door. But a Weissgold going to make one mad dash. Gets cleared out by Vesh. Luby going for it. It's a triple commit from the side of UTD. Can they get it? One last second on the clock. It will hit the Ooh, ground just barely. Close. And that's going to be the Saints taking this series and a two to one lead so far. Yeah, absolutely. With one more game, locking them down potentially. Again, if UTD wins the next one, then we're looking at a game five here. But with Saints on match point, I'm sure that's doing wonders for their confidence going through this series. Again, coming off of a, like we said, slow start early on. And uh, they lost that first game. And even then, they were still able to get at least one goal to kind of bring things back. And now it seems that they're kind of uncontested when it comes to the aggression. Both teams are playing really, really hard against each other, not leaving any rooms for uh, any kind of defense for either of these teams and really punishing the gaps that are there. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to potentially this final game and which team is going to be able to exploit the other's weaknesses better. Exactly. This could be it. This could be the final game. It seems like the Saints have found UTD's number after that first start, but you can all flip on a dime if UTD finds some way to exploit the Saints just as has been done to them. Then starting things off with an aggressive push here, a bicycle. They're shoring up their defenses here. They don't want to overcommit like they have in the past. But they have a good opening here. Good clear, but they got a demo. Christian needs to clear this ball, and soon he does. He finds an opening of his own. A Weissgold going to be the one on the defense and just barely stops them in their tracks. The Saints, that's going to be a uh -oh. big miss on the Woo! side of the Saints, but Ben's there to clean it up. Potentially miscommunication from UTD there. It looked like he was slowing down to give room for his teammate to take the shot, but not ending up going for it. And then, you know, really just took all that speed away, which would have made that shot all the more difficult to defend against the Saints. Uh, also, of course, ready to go for that uh, clear there. But now we're back in blue corner, right where the Saints want to be. Kekura is going to be able to watch Luby clear that one out, but also watch Ben as he goes for another shot, maybe trying to bounce it off of the top post, giving room for his teammate to go for the shot. But now all three of them are up here, once again, bouncing it off the top. But Luby, once again, keeping it safe. Ben making his way all the way back to Orange side. It looks like the Saints just want to go for this once again just go for another try on that last push i mean why not the aggression has worked out so far but you can definitely see utd answering back with aggression of their own kind of throwing off the saints tempo but now the saints finding some tempo here getting a shot on the goal it's going right back vesh really wants to throw, slow down this ball's momentum get the setup with ben it's a slow shot on the goal but a nice one it needs the three commit on the defense Let's see ben not really finding his footing here, just trying to follow this ball, trying to find some way to make an opening here. Let's give it to UTD, getting a nice shot of the goal, but a beautiful clear it bounces between the net there. Absolutely <laughs> tra tragic on the side of UTD. Absolutely incredible the way that these teams are playing right now. It's peak performance, peak performance from both of these teams. Now, Wolubi, what are you doing? Unfortunate, he was like a golf tee, and <laughs> unfortunately for him, we're going to see Christian, oh. this Tiger Woods, ready for that swing right into the net, perfectly serving it up on a silver platter. An excellent like a volleyball server. Right Basically, <laughs> yeah, it's serving it up one inch away from the spiker. Oh, it's awful. Oh, man. But it's sometimes that's it's the way it bad. goes. Yeah. yeah. But here we see Vesh getting a nice demo. Christian punting that ball towards blue side once again, even following it up. Ben going for a shot that's going to be uncontested. Very classic Rocket League. I feel like they've practiced that very play at least 100 times the way that crisp play looked. And just at the halfway point, after such an even game, yeah. such a back and forth game, Saints now secure a two goal lead. It's up to UTD to do something similar very soon. As you can see, the ball. Well, it's starting things off with a demo, though. Kura in control of the ball. Going to try and go for a very aggressive play. Can't quite find it, though. The Saints, you can tell, looking a lot more relaxed here. 
Absolutely not, Ben. We're seeing uh, just circling things around. Christian, as always, looking for a potential setup for his team to get an opportunity to get things going. Kekura trying to get that ball cleared out from Ben, but he's going to be able to match it now. Vash chasing it down. Kekura underneath, not able to meet him in the skies fast enough. That's a nice center shot, Christian. Going to face plant into the wall, trying to get that shot going, but you got to follow through no matter what, even if the ball is far away from you at that point. Vash going to demo Luby from behind. Unexpected play there. Felt like he wasn't going fast enough but I guess Rocket League disagrees. Going to be able to get a block there. Block turning into a pass attempt. Going to get blocked out once again by Weisskull and Christian now taking this one to the corner, taking the initiative, seeing if he can find something, but unfortunately his teammates aren't there yet. Probably a smart play, because that very easily could have turned into a goal for UTD if the Saints overcommitted, but now I feel like they're looking ready, looking hungry for another shot. Luby, can he get there in time? Yes, you can. Had enough boost in the tank, and the Saints, they are not stopping anytime soon, it seems. Not stopping anytime soon as you can see Vesh and Ben just taking shot after shot on the goal. Christian just getting these amazing setups and the rest of the Ooh. team just so fluid, able to go on the attack of the defense in this nice tempo, this nice rotation. Ben though, maybe caught off a little off guard by a white skill, but his team is there to hold him up. Now Ben getting a nice pass, gonna get off the crossbar. Ben going for a double shot, but can't quite find it. Weisskull missing the ball in the air is gonna be tragic for the team. Can't quite get the setup they need. 40 seconds left on the clock, and things are looking dire for UTD. Dire indeed, and 30 seconds now just for this team to get two goals. Honestly, even if they get one, they will be looking in a lot better shape, but it's gonna have to happen very soon, but unfortunately now... I don't think that was the team you were talking about to get the one, right? No, no, I wasn't, <laughs> sir. Now things are looking definitely dire. Now if they get two goals, things will be a lot more favorable for UTD looking down the barrel of even. If they, honestly, it's not impossible. They really could. I, I, especially Every 10 seconds, they can get a goal. You say it, and it's true. It is possible, especially right off the kickoff. I think UTD might be able to make something work here. And you see the setup coming oh. out. Vesh, though. Not going to let that happen. Always throwing a wrench into their plans, foiling them once again. And now you see Luby Ooh. going on the offense. Gets a beautiful setup. Can't quite get it, though. It's up there in midair. Christian going for the setup off the wall, trying to get the double dunk. Can't quite get it with two seconds left on the clock. This one's going to be going over to the Saints. Even if they get the goal, yeah. it's going over to the Saints. But absolutely beautiful game from the Saints. And now they're going to be taking that series 3-1 to one and moving on in the tournament. Absolutely, and their potential opponents looking on the bracket is going to be USM or UDEM Esports, depending on whoever wins that series. Don't know what's going on over there, but we'll find out soon enough uh, as we head into this tournament. But, ladies and gentlemen, that was a fantastic series, and I think the Saints just really really tied it nicely together for us. I think so as well. They really cleaned it up. That's just classic Saints game plan, you know? They play uh, not the best in the first game, uh, but they really download what their opponents do. Absolutely. Really observe, let them do their plays, almost let them experiment. And you find every case of what they could do. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, exactly. you, you play accordingly. So. And, well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, hopefully we can coordinate things a little better as the bracket moves on. Maybe we can hopefully see some things go a little bit faster, but fast enough as it is right now. We're pushing through this bracket, and we're going to have to wait and see who we're going to be facing wait. up next. This means the Saints are one win away from qualifying. That is true. And if they lose, then they are two away. But hopefully we don't have to worry about that second possibility. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen we're going to get ready for a quick break. We'll be right back. And, Nate, I see you in chat. See you this week, buddy. One of our eSports campers. Uh, we'll see you guys very soon after this quick break.